Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this new Banquet Mega Pizza Double Stuffed Four Meat Pizza Slices. Um, there are two, laser, two layers of crust stuffed with marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese, sausage, reduced fat, pepperoni, beef, and ham. Sounds wonderful. Um, it is two slices in the package, 13 ounces or 369 or 68 grams. Um, it is frozen, so there it is. We bought these at Meyer. It was three dollars and seventy nine cents, which isn't too awful bad for the size of it. It's pretty heavy. Uh, per slice, or sorry, two servings per container, so a slice. One slice is four hundred thirty calories. If you eat them both, it's eight sixty. And there's the information. You can do whatever you want to with it. There it is. So you can do this in conventional oven, of course. There's the directions. We don't do um, regular ovens. We do microwaves, but there they are if you want them. So to do this, you're going to basically Open the tray up and I'll show you flipping it over upside down. Remove the plastic um, over wrap. Separate the slices at the seam. Place both pizza slices on the silver surface and place tray on top of platform. Micro and high for seven, for six to seven and a half minutes. I'll probably do, I'll do 645. We'll stick there. Uh, make sure it's hot and let it stand for two minutes and enjoy. So so what you do is, let me find the end where you do It's got a little pull tab on this end. If you've ever opened a pizza frozen a frozen meal, you've probably done this before. So you're just going to separate it out and you've got this little tray. Take this out. Know how long to do your uh, food before you put it over there because once you put the, once you flip it over, you can't really raise it back up again. So I'm going to do um, 645. So I'm going to take this plastic. I didn't get, I didn't get scissors of course. That would have been, you know, me planning. There we go. <laughs> Gotta get it started. It's, sometimes it's hard to get started. This plastic does not, I got some dull scissors. That's what I got. Okay, so here's the two slices. And it says split them at the seam. So, easier said than done. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Put those on the little silver tray and put in the microwave for whatever time you need to be. Like I said, I'm gonna do 645 and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I did leave it the full 640. I actually did it for 640. Um, so you usually have to take a knife or something to kind of knock it loose because it gets stuck, the cheese does. So if you just take a knife and run around, you could use a plastic knife too. Plastic knife works just as well. Maybe a little more difficult, but it, it works. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna move it over to a paper plate. And I did, you can see I've got a paper towel underneath there. I did put a paper towel underneath uh, just in case it, um, you know, anything ran over, like cheese ran off or anything like that. It wouldn't be all over my microwave. So there it is. Let's see if I can separate it. Yep. And you really can't see much as far as the inside goes. Looks like it's full of cheese and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off because it's super hot and I'll be back. Okay, I let it cool off for just a few minutes, uh, just so it wouldn't literally burn my tongue, and it may, it may still burn my tongue. There's the bottom, it's got a little crisp on it. I can feel the, I can feel the crust is a little crisp, even off the edges, it's even in the middle, it's a little crisp, it's not really floppy, so that's good. You can see it's not dripping, or drooping down in, in the end, so that's good. So hot. I like it when the when you can get the crust a little crispy, because um, of the the flavor and the texture is just so much better when it's crispy. Um, there's some spice from the either the sausage or pepperoni. I can't tell. Flavor wise, all I'm getting is literally crust and cheese. I haven't really tasted any of the meat in there yet, but there's some spice in there from something. And like I said I don't know if it's from the sausage or, or the pepperoni because I don't know. Mm. That bite had sausage in it. Um, you can really taste the sausage in it. It's pretty good. A little bit of ham too, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I like the flavors of this. Um, 
all the meats in there really add a lot of um, different elements to the flavor. So you get a little spice, um, you get a little bit of smokiness from like the ham. Um, I really like this. This one's this one's probably the best one of the three. Um, and like I said, I like the crispiness of it. The crust sometimes is just okay. It's a little dry on the edge, like the very end of the crust, but it's not bad. It's just a little dry. Here's a piece of sausage. Yeah, that sausage has a really good flavor, a very good spice to it, a seasoning to the, to the sausage. Um, it's not spicy though, so it must have been the pepperoni that was giving me the spice. The sausage itself is not spicy, but the pepperoni, not spicy like it really like, oh, it's hot, really hot. It's just, it's just got a little spice to it. It'll give you a, give you a little tingle in the back of your throat, maybe a little on your tongue and that's it. It's not like it's overly done. Um, it's a nice, pleasant seasoning. So, um, I like this. I, I really do like this one. Like I said, this one's the best one because the flavors are so, there's so many different flavors going on. That you really enjoy um, different flavors and textures and stuff. So this one, I'm gonna give a four out of five. I really do like this one. If I bought any more, this would be, if I bought them over and over again, this would be the one I would buy is, the, is this one. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.